Good morning everyone and here we are on Monday, Monday the 4th of May and it's time for assembly. I'm going to keep it a little bit shorter today because I think I've maybe been talking too much. Hmm. So it's Monday the 4th of May and you can maybe learn how to say that in French or Spanish as usual. Maybe you can see what the weather's doing today too and you can also maybe learn how to say that in French or Spanish. I hope you've had a good weekend. Um, just a little reminder that Friday is actually a holiday. So there's no school on Friday. So you'll get a little day off and you'll be able to just do stick to doing all your other lovely things that I know that you're doing. Now, I'd like you to find out why there is a holiday on Friday. Maybe you can do a little bit of research into that and maybe you can let your teachers know why we're off this Friday from school. The, there's no on this day today because I thought that you could find that out about Friday and what happened on that day in the past. I'm going to get started with the 365 days of wonder and this one is actually right on today's date it's on the 4th of May so I'll read you this one and it says a single act of kindness throws roots in all directions and makes the roots spring up and make new trees a single act of kindness throws out roots in all directions and the roots spring up and make new trees. Hmm. I wonder what that makes you think of and I wonder if you know what that might mean. A single act of kindness throws out roots in all directions and the roots spring up and make new trees. Maybe you could have a little bit of a think about that and maybe you could tell someone at home what you think that might mean. And as you know, we always tell you that our school rule, our main school rule, is to be kind. And I think now, more than ever, it's so important to always try your best to be kind. Because it's always possible to be kind. And on that note, the Everyday Kindness book for this date says The way you speak to others can offer them joy, happiness, self-confidence, hope, trust and enlightenment. So the way you speak to others can offer them joy, happiness, self-confidence, hope trust and enlightenment. So maybe be thinking about how you're speaking to the people in your house today and that might be very lovely and very much appreciated. We've got exciting news that I'm going to share with you at the end of this morning's assembly. It's really exciting. I have been so desperate for Monday to come so I could share this with you. So it won't be too long because I'm just making it a short one today. Talent Spot. We've loved seeing all your talents and the ones that you've been sharing on our Facebook page. It's just been so, so good to see the videos and the photos of all the things that you've been doing. So please keep them coming. We just love seeing everything that you're up to. This week, some of us are working in the activity centre in the school building and we're looking forward to being in and about the building and seeing one another from safe distances. So you might see me when you pass and I'll wave from my room if I'm in there at that time. The other thing that I always, always have to do on a Monday is to remind you that every day is a learning day. So of our five ways to well-being, I have to remind you to be learning and I know that you're learning all sorts of different things just now so always keep learning all the time about all kinds of different things because it keeps your brain stretching and it keeps your brain growing as you know because we've taught you that so don't forget okay now last week 
I put what's in the box at the toll centre. And before I even got it there on Monday, somebody had run up to the toll and went in with their letter. So I was so, so excited when I heard. And then when I went to collect it, at the end of the week, there was somebody running to put their letter in as well. So I was so excited to read the letters that they were in the box. So I'm just going to read three of them for today, because as you know, sometimes I'm out of time. And there are envelopes at the toll, so if you're worried somebody else might sneak and read them, don't worry, put them in an envelope and then I'll know that um, they're all for me. Okay, so this one, to Mrs Anderson. Wait to see what this one says. Dear Miss Anderson, when we go back to school soon, can we have a different variety of food for lunch? Maybe some more fruit and vegetables. And can we also have more orange juice too? And it's signed sincerely, Oscar Martinez. So Oscar, I will speak to the lovely ladies in the dinner hall about this, but I'll actually have to speak to other people too, because I don't know if you know, but the ladies in our dinner hall are not in charge of what's on the menu for school dinners. That's all decided by Fife Council. So we don't have an awful lot of control over what is made in our dinner hall. But I will speak to the people who are in charge and I will tell them about your lovely letter, Oscar, and we'll see what they can do for when we come back. So thank you for that. It was beautifully written and I loved how it said Dear Miss Anderson at the beginning and yours sincerely at the end. Thank you so much. Right, and here is another one. And this one is from Rory Taylor in P3T. Let's see what Rory's saying. Okay. Oh, I need to open up. Dear Miss Anderson, I am missing my friends in primary three. I hope everyone is keeping safe and well. When school returns, I think we should have a games day out on the pitch with the whole school. Love, Rory. And Rory's also done a lovely little picture of Thomas, the tank engine. And you know, that's lovely, Rory. And if anybody else wants to write a letter for what's in the box, but to their friends, you can put it in the box and I'll read them out. But that's lovely, Rory. We're missing you as well. And I'm sure your friends are missing you. And I'm hoping, like you, that everyone is keeping safe and well. What a great idea. I think when we do return, we're going to have to think very carefully about how we're going to spend time together and make up for this time when we're apart. Now, the third letter I'm going to read today said, Dear Miss Anderson, can you please read the day the crayons quit for story time? And it says, stay healthy. And it's from Hannah in P2F. And it also says, P.S. you can say my name. Because that's the thing we always check. Make sure if you don't want your name read out, you say, don't read my name. So Hannah in P2F, the day the crayons quit will be story time tonight. So I've got the copy of the book already. And that will be our bedtime story this evening. So make sure you tune in. So the box... We'll go back up to the toll, and if you've got letters that you want to put in, the box is sitting outside, just go and pop them in. And you have to get there before Thursday, because I come and collect on a Thursday. Okay, so thank you for those, and keep your letters coming. Thank you very much. It helps us all keep in touch. Now, the last thing I want to say before I go, and this is so exciting, is that Mr Fife who we is just love having at the school. But Mr Fife has been really clever and he has taken all of the photographs that we could find on our Facebook page and he has put them all together in a video that combines day one to day 34 of us not being in school. 
So the special video will be posted right after this and please have a look at it and see who all you can spot in the video. Watch it right through all the way and you'll see lots of familiar faces. Now, we're going to be doing this every week. So if you would like your photograph to appear, you have to just take a photo of something that you're doing at home, whether it's your home learning from school on the computer, or whether it is learning something else, a different skill or a different activity, or helping out at home somehow, whatever it is you're doing. If you pop it on the Facebook page, under one of the activities of the day, then Mr Five will be able to get it from there and put it in next week's film. And we're so excited about this, we think it's just great because it's going to give you all an opportunity to see each other and see what everyone's been getting up to. Now, videos are a bit of an issue. We can't always save the videos from Facebook. So please, if it's a photograph, it is so much easier for Mr Five to be able to put it together in our film. So we're just delighted and we hope that you will be too. So keep watching out for all the activities online this week. And remember, Friday's a holiday, so you get that day off. Stay safe, everyone. I'm missing you terribly. And we'll see you soon. Take care.